but we've asked a famous comedian to do the talking. That Prime Minister of Mirth, George Robey. You know, people often wonder at my intimate knowledge of the remote places of this earth, and they imagine that I'm a much more travelled man than I really am, but believe me, my uh, geographical knowledge has been attained through the study of philately, in other words, stamp collecting. So, my advice is, and always has been to you boys and girls, that if you want a hobby, is to take up stamp collecting. It not only gives you a geographical knowledge, but it broadens your business instincts. And then again, there's always the added excitement of coming across a bargain in the most unexpected places. Now, I remember on one occasion, this is one of my early experiences, when I was uh, appearing in a town up north somewhere, uh, the stage doorkeeper sent in word that there was a fella wanted to sell some stamps. So I said, oh, send him in. In walked a gawk of a fella, you know, one of those, with a book under his arm, a copy book with about 50 or 60 stamps stuck down with glue. Absolutely, I mean, worth nothing. But in the middle of them, I, I, I could hardly contain myself. There was a British Guyana, a stamp that's worth probably a thousand to fifteen hundred or two thousand pounds. Well, because I, I didn't know what to do with myself. I got, uh, and of course, this is where I made my big mistake. I said, oh, these stamps are not worth anything practically, but of course, that one in the middle is rather a good one. I said, well, what do you give me for them? I said, a couple of pounds. He turned around and he said, if they are worth a couple of pounds to you, they're worth a couple of pounds to me. Put the book under his arm and walked out of the place. Well, do you know, at that moment, if it hadn't been for the fact of the difficulty of disposing of a body, I, 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 I honestly think I should have murdered him. But believe me, when you really get the philatelical bug into your system, you'll do almost anything for one of those British Guyanas. In case there's anybody who got any who wished to sell them to me, I may add that I've lost all interest in British Guiana stamps. <laughs> then another incident happened. It was the same sort of thing. I was appearing at some music hall and the <coughs> man at the stage door said, there's a fellow wants to see you about some stamps. I said, oh, all right, send him in. In walked a sporty fellow, you know, all up and doing. I'd never seen him before in my life. He says, hello, George. I said, uh, what is it you want? He says, well, I must have a pony. I said, a pony? What, what, what's that? He says, 25 quid would just put me right. I said, but why come to me? He said, well, I, I heard you were a philanthropist. I, 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 well, of course, what are you to do? 